Hello everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo, and it is my favorite time of the month where I play my deck of TBR game. I can't believe it's time to choose my books for the last month of 2022, but it is here. We are playing deck of TBR for the month of December. I wanted to first give you a little update on how November is going. It's only the 21st of the month, so I've got some time to do a little better than how I'm doing, but let me give you an update. Here are five of the six. The other one is an audiobook that I used, but so my punishment for the month was to read a month from previous TBR or a book from previous TBRs. So that was Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. I have not read this, but I have the audiobook ready and available and I need to read it because it's also going to count for my Z for my alphabet project or the alphabet A to Z A to Z challenge uh I can't find a book that starts with Z and so Gabrielle Zevin is gonna work so I will read this this month and I'll listen to it and it'll be great it is the book of the month book of the year so I really want to read it next one was Let's see. Oh, a queen. So it was two prompts in one. It had to start with my initials and it was underhyped. So for that, I read Fly Away by Kristen Hanna, or I picked it and I did read that. <clears throat> for a high rating, I chose Harry Potter 5. This is just the sixth one standing in um, because the fifth one is upstairs. Um, but I'm trying to read all of these in French. It was a goal of mine long before I knew anything about the author's views on trans people. And so I... I'm still trying to read the fifth one by the end of this year. And it is not complete, but the fact that I am getting through it is good. So I'm gonna count that <clears throat> as a win. The next one was under 250 pages. I chose My Sister the Serial Killer and I did read this for a dog pick. My dog Barrett picked Untamed by Glennon Doyle. I'm about halfway through this and it's a very easy read. So I plan on getting this done by the end of November. And lastly, I had the prompt Beautiful Cover and I picked French Braid by Ann Tyler and I did read that. So <clears throat> technically right now I've completed three of the six, but I plan on completing five of the six with Harry Potter 5 being that sixth one that I might not end up finishing just because there's so much, there's so many pages in that book and it's in French and just cut me some slack, okay? <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> I'm super excited to read in December. I kind of hit this slump at the end of October, early November, and I think I'm back, back into my reading self. So in December, I plan on participating in Christmathon, which is hosted by Silka from the Danish Reader Holic and Gem from Bookish Gems. I will link their announcement videos down below in my description box, but it sounds like a fun advent calendar kind of readathon where they reveal a new prompt every day until Christmas. It'll put me in the Christmas spirit and put me in reading mood, I think. So I'm excited to participate in that, but we don't have any prompts for that as of filming today. So that's okay. I will just pick books that fit the prompts that I get in my deck of TBR game. I also am <clears throat> trying to wrap up some goals for the end of the year. So there's a list here that I want to try to get to. We'll see if deck of TBR plays in my favor. Favor. Oh, I can't speak today. Okay. So it looks like I have one prompt to fill and my uh, bin of prompts is almost empty. This is the last one. So this is BIPOC rep is going in for six of diamonds. <clears throat> so I'm going to get the jar of use prompts and pour them in, pour them back in. Okay. That's all of them. So now our prompt bowl is full again. <clears throat> I'm going to replace my bomb book. My bomb books are getting down there. So I think I need to pick some new bomb books for, you know, the new year. I picked The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, which is fitting because the video I just posted on Wednesday is 
these books will self-destruct in 12 months and the goldfinch is one of them so how fitting that it might self-destruct and it's a bomb book okay <clears throat> i think that's everything set up here got my deck of cards we're ready to play i am not going to take a punishment for this month so just five books that i need to pick five cards will help me pick those five books let's go first draw it's a six of spades six of spades is a mystery let me look at some of my books and see if ones i want to read by the end of the year are mysteries all right not one that i really thought i was going to get to this month but I'm excited for nonetheless is Finley Donovan is killing it by El Cosmano. I've heard nothing but great things about this series. This is the first in the series and look at that. It says a mystery right on the cover so it fits the prompt. This is my first book for December's deck of TBR. I will put the six of spades back in the deck and shuffle. We will also replace the Six of Spades with a new prompt. Challenge, unhaul and draw again. Okay. <laughs> that would be interesting because I just recently did a big unhaul, so it may be difficult. <clears throat> All right. Did I shuffle? I'm gonna shuffle one more time for good measure. An ace. Oh no. Ace is my TBR jar. So I'm leaving it completely up to chance. Let's get the jar. I'm not thrilled that an ace showed up, but here's the jar. I have updated, updated it recently by taking out the books that I've read, but I have not put in new books by any means. So, great. If the first book sucks, I'm gonna draw again. It's my game and I get to decide. So let's see what the first book is. <clears throat> the Astronaut and the Star. This is a Kindle book and I don't, I don't want to. I don't wanna read it. I have so many other plans and that's not one of them. I'm just gonna draw until I get one. That sounds a little exciting. Let's try this one. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this one is Brit Marie Was Here by Frederick Bachman. That one's interesting <clears throat> because I want to read a different Frederick Bachman. I want to read my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry could I substitute maybe I'm gonna be nice to myself because it's a Christmas present time of year a giving time of year I'm gonna be nice to myself I'm gonna draw one more time and if it's something amazing I'll choose this one sweet water no I don't even know what that is what is that book I don't know so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose Brit Marie was here, but I'm actually gonna pick a different Frederick Bachman. <laughs> Sue me, it's my game, I make the rules. I'll grab it. Here it is, my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry. This is my in real life book club pick. We'll discuss it on the 2nd of January, so need to get to it in December. I love Frederick Bachman. I think I've given everything I've read by him at least four or five stars, and this one sounds like a really cute one about a seven-year-old and her grandmother. So that's on the TBR. Again, neither of these were even close to what I wanted on this stack. <laughs> okay, fun. We'll put the Ace of Diamonds back in the deck. Nothing to replace because these... Uh, Face card prompts stay on the board. Let's 
let's see what we get next a jack I'm okay with this because a jack is a book of the month and my I think I'm gonna pick my most recent book of the month because I'm really really excited about it sounds really good one second so for my book of the month pick, I will choose Someday Maybe by Ogni Nwabanelli. This one sounds like it's going to make me cry and I want a good cry. For some reason, I just want books that make me feel something <laughs> around this time of year. So that's what I'm going with. This is my most recent November 2022 pick and I'm really looking forward to it. I think that this is the author's first book. Yep, her debut novel. So this should be great. I'm excited to get to it, but again, not one I thought I would be getting for my December TBR. All right, let's move on. We'll put the Jack of Diamonds back in the deck. We don't have to replace that prompt because it's a face card. It stays on the board. We will shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And see what I draw. Eight of clubs. It's on the board. Random color. Okay. Random color means I need to pull up a random color generator. And whatever color it gives me, I have to find a book that matches that color. So, I'm going to get my handy dandy computer out. So, here we go. Here's my random color generator interesting ad at the top here but I'm going to click the button three times and see what it gives me one two three blue lilac it's like a purpley blue okay this is pushing it a little bit but this is purpley blue on the back of the background of the Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. This one my mother-in-law lent to me, but the Joy Luck Club is going to count for my J in my A to Z challenge. So this is one I wanted to get on here and I'm gonna make it work. Blue Lilac for the Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. And we're gonna put the eight of clubs back in. We'll shuffle a bit. I should replace this prompt before I forget with a oh, dog pick. It's going back on. Okay. Guess I didn't shuffle them well enough. And uh, this is my last draw. I have four books. So this will be the last one. Fifth book is the Three of Spades. Oh, that's really perfect. It's buzzword. Yay. So this will be the last book for the buzzword challenge of 2022. And the buzzword is number. And this is the book I've wanted to get on the TBR since I hauled it, which was a long time ago. Anyway, this is One Day in December by Josie Silver. It's perfect for December. It's perfect for buzzword because it has the number one in the title. And it is, I believe, a sweet Christmas romance. Yay! This is one book that I for sure wanted on this TBR, and Decca TBR pulled it out for me. So, those are my five books. <clears throat> We've got, just as a reminder, Mystery. I chose Finley Donovan is Killing It for the TBR jar. It kind of picked My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry by Frederick Bachman. For the Jack, which is Book of the Month, I chose... Someday maybe. Oh, and you know what? Mm -hmm. I should have maybe left this space open because normally Book of the Month always has some sort of Christmas book in December. And I really want to read that, obviously, in December. But I want to read this one too. So this will be my Book of the Month pick for the Jack. And then I got Random Color Generator. Blue Lilac gave me this uh, Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. And for... The buzzword prompt, I chose One Day in December by Josie Silver. 
I'm really looking forward to this. I think these will all be good and keep me excited to read. I also want to read Comfort and Joy by Kristen Hanna. It is her Christmas book, believe it or not. I didn't know she had a Christmas book, but I would love to read it in December to read more of my Kristen Hanna's and obviously to get in the Christmas spirit. And like I said, Book of the Month usually puts out a Christmas book in December also. So I want to read that one. There we have it, folks. That's my deck of TBR for the last month in 2022. Let me know if you have read any of these books. Let me hold them up again. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them down in the comments. I'd love to have some bookish conversation with you there. Like this video on your way out. Consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more bookish and bullet journaling content from me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.